Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a Lively Legs Adult Golden Stone Fly. The hook I have in advice is a 200R. This is a size 12. This is a dropped shank, three extra long, straight eye hook from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. The legs we're going to use are Lively Legs. Tie one on, livelylegs.com. This is medium size yellow legs, and they have for size 10 and 8, but I'm going to use this for size 12. I have 8 aught thread, and this is a golden olive. We're going to put a base of thread down. We're going to bring that base of thread down all the way down the shank. We're going to stop that just about where it would hang at the barb. Then we're going to bring that back to the top. Now I'm going to take the lively legs and I cut the front tab off. You can see it has a tab on the back here. I want those front legs real close to the eye and that front tab would just get in the way. I'm going to tie them in. I'm going to start behind the first leg. Start with a bit of a lighter loop and then tighten it. Bring it back. Put it tight right against the front of the second pair of legs. And I'm kind of holding it towards me as I'm going and then the thread will pull it right to the top. I'm going to go and put it right to the front of the third set of legs and then put it right in back of the third set of legs. Then we're going to run the thread back down. Just tie that tab in. That tab just happens to be just the length of the body. So we'll just tie that right in. Now for a rib I'm going to use a furnace. You just want a ginger hackle. I'm going to use this furnace. I'm going to tie it in with the concave side to the shank and secure that quickly up and come back. Turn my vise sideways just a little bit so my fingers could fit in there. Now I'm going to take some gold dyed hairs mask we're going to dub that on. This is going to be the body. And we're going to leave any uh, guard hairs in there unless they're real long when we're done with the body. We can trim the real long ones off. Let's see how far I go with this. And since this needle is so long, I'm going to turn my vise. For the first few wraps. There we go. We're going to wrap this right up. Bring that right up to there. Then we want to make sure that we get a good coverage underneath. So we kind of do a figure eight there and that takes care of that. And it looks like I have to put a little bit more dubbing on there. Before I go ahead and wrap that dubbing, I'm going to take my rib. I'm just going to give this a couple of wraps right at the rear. Palmering it up. One, two. Get it behind there. Three wraps. Get it up to the middle. I'm going to tie that off there. Right behind the number two set of legs. push this dubbing up there break that off give it that figure eight there keep those legs nice you have to be a little careful because you can take those legs and turn them pretty quick 
Take one last piece of dubbing there. I'm going to go in front of those legs just a wrap. Small amount. Bring my thread back behind those front legs. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim the hackle from the top. Now for an underwing, I'm going to use a teal flank feather. You could use it use one a little bit lighter than this even I'm gonna take that and we're gonna let that hang off the back a little ways I'm gonna pull it after I get a wrap or two in there and just get that just slightly past the bend of the hook Put a couple more wraps in there. Trim that off. And that should be with the fish see that wing underneath. Now I'm going to take, I have, uh, I'm going to use this bleached coastal deer hair. It's just got the right color and it's, uh, this particular one is pretty hollow. You can see down there, you can see the uh, kind of like zigzags on there. That, that kind of shows you that it's pretty hollow. I have some of my hair stacker here. I can line up the tips. I'm gonna pull out any fuzz, any short ones. We want that overwing to be the length of the underwing. I'm going to hold that on there in place. You want to kind of hold that tight. Make sure that you get it between the front legs. Go ahead and put a couple of wraps and then tighten that up. Now you can grab everything and wrap in front of it. I'm pulling the legs back too because you can easily wrap those legs down. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to remove the tag end. Cut that pretty close. Watch you don't cut a leg off. And then just clean up the few that I missed. You could maybe pull them out sometimes. Going to turn it over and put a little bit of head cement right on the bottom. And I don't believe the lively legs will be affected by the head cement. And here we have a lively legs adult golden stonefly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.